And off the top at five today, we are seeing the shattered back window where an intruder broke into the home of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and attacked her husband with a hammer. It's reported that the suspect was screaming, where's Nancy, as he beat Paul Pelosi with the hammer. And it would take, uh, it would act actually keep going if officers did not come by for a check on that house. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy live now at the White House with reaction to the shocking attack. Ben. Calvin, Nicole, lawmakers on both sides say they are horrified about this attack. As for Paul Pelosi, he is in surgery this afternoon, but doctors say he is set to make a full recovery. The husband of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi was brutally attacked at their California home Friday morning. It's their police say they responded to a priority well-being check at around 2.30 a.m. and found the assailant attacking Paul Pelosi with a hammer. The suspect pulled the hammer away from Ms. Pelosi and violently assaulted him with it. Officers tackled and disarmed the suspect and rushed the 82-year-old to the hospital with significant injuries. The White House released a statement calling it a horrible attack and are very glad that a full recovery is expected. South Florida Representative Debbie Wasserman Schultz tweeted, My thoughts are with Speaker Pelosi and her family, and my sincere hope is for a full speedy recovery for her husband. After this violent assault, I'm thankful the suspect was apprehended. We don't know the motive, but he was attacked in his home. If it was politically motivated, it's a crime, I condemn it. If it wasn't politically motivated. It's a crime and I condemn it. The suspect has been identified as 42-year-old David DePepe. Sources say he shouted, where's Nancy, when he entered the San Francisco home. But the House Speaker was in Washington, D.C. at the time of the attack. The suspect is now facing several charges, including attempted homicide, assault with a deadly weapon, elder abuse, and burglary. This is an active investigation. Now, the alleged attacker pulled multiple conspiracy theories on social media about the 2020 election, January 6th, and the COVID vaccine as officers continue to question him at this hour to uncover a motive behind the attack. Reporting live at the White House, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News. Just an awful attack. Thank you.